guys, welcome to episode one. Got a lot of radio chatter right now. Uh, HRP. I am stoked about this, guys. We got about uh, 22 people on the server right now. Pretty thick. I am. I'm not even sure where this series is gonna go. I'm totally honest. I am. I'm just excited, honestly. It's gonna be hopefully on Echo Ride. Very excited. So. I'm just in the Range Rover right now, We're about to patrol, and uh, we're going to see what we can get into. We're just waiting for a call. Apparently there's, uh, I think, a traffic stop at uh, Yellow Jack, so... Oh. Okay, I'm gonna be cuffing you. Yeah, 1027, I'm Donnie Winthor. Okay, there we go. Corporate stooge! Hey, sir. Here, uh, sir, what's your name? Uh, oh, okay. Well, you're gonna have to tell me. You're legally obligated to tell me. Uh, Daniel. I'm gonna need your first. Uh, I wasn't born with the last name. Well, you're gonna have to tell me. Daniel James. Sorry, right, Daniel James didn't appear, so I'm gonna ask you to Our get into the back of my uh, UV and take you down to the station. this way sir heading to your charges wearing a mask in public you cannot conceal your face in public do you understand that's it take that off for you on that in our okay but while you're in there i'm gonna ask you to create a license this is your i mean if this happens again it's not gonna end very well for you so uh you do that and uh, let's see okay all right you're gonna be here for five minutes Dan? Yep. I'm also going to read your Miranda rights to you. Yes, you do. So, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have a right to an attorney. Court one, one will be appointed to you. Yep. All right. You have a good evening. I think I'm in the 1011 right now. It's a way This dude just is standing in front of my car. Like, my face here. Location? Uh, at the four way by the uh, train, train tracks, just and it looks like I'm dancing or something. Very cool. Okay. I'm on my way. He's not no, uh, not no like nearby or traffic stop, just like. Standing Basically, basically, the reason I pulled up in front of the road like that, officer, was a group of people that pulled a gun up on me. So I was a little bit scared, so I thought I needed to get your attention. There's a whole, there's a whole group of green people just at the back of the motel over there. Then I came to the station. Why can't you can't just stop in a four-way like that, man? That like, called accident. You have also called now. Oh, I'm not a post officer, but I was so scared that they pulled a gun on me. I had to. This guy. Hey. Uh, he was there with me. Uh, Excuse me, sir, leave the, the traffic stop. We are talking to someone right now. He was, he was there with me. Please. He was with me. 
they, well, we were what? asking you, so what was going on? Well, so I was I was walking with her, my friend over here, from behind the, the band and moved out. They have like a little campfire to chill out. Next thing you know, there was a group of like green people. They pulled guns out on me and my friend just left me. So scared. Okay. Um, okay, well, we're gonna go take a look at that. But you did, uh, what did you say he was doing? Uh, okay, one second here. I'm talking to my, I'm talking to Kadev. One second. What did you say he was doing? He was, uh, the stop right there. Like, where the stop sign is, he wouldn't. Okay. So, you, sir, in the, uh, crack suit, I'm gonna ask you to not do that anymore. We'll just give you a formal warning, but, uh, if you do it again, we're gonna place you in arrest for obstructing traffic. Okay, so I apologize for that. So, you and your friend can leave the area. We're going to go check that out. From the sounds of what you've described, it could be pretty dangerous. Do you know exactly who pulled a gun on you? Like, do you have a, do you have a outfit description on the person that pulled a gun on you exactly, or...? Uh, he pulled it basically. I'm pretty sure it was just a... I think it was just a pistol. Yeah, like, four of them, they were, like, talking to someone else behind the boat now. And, yeah, well, just have a you know what they're like? I have a view. It looks like they're, they're, they're one of them's over there, right right now, like, like running right now, over that fence. So, get one officer to go follow that guy, tail him, and question him. Uh, okay. We're gonna head over there, we're gonna take a look. So you guys might want to leave the area just in case, alright? For your safety. Perfect. Thank you, officers. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Too, no thank problem. You. Yeah, you better drive. Okay, so it looks like uh, behind the abandoned motel in Sandy, we got a group of people wearing green predominantly, and uh, the hounds of it, they were pointing guns at a couple civilians, so 32 is over here just to check it out. I'm over here right now. I'm just walking up. Hello, may I speak to whoever is in charge of this, whatever's going on here, anyone in particular? Uh, me ambassador, you can speak to me. Okay, hey, so we got a report, someone wearing clothing very peculiarly similar to what you guys are wearing, uh, pointed a gun at them and they just came over here to chill out or something, so what's that all about? Uh... One at a time, one at a time. Alright, so go ahead, JD. Here, you might want to speak up, you're pretty quiet. Yeah, I can hear you, it's a little quiet. Guys, come over. Let's see. Guys, I know what. Come back here. Let's see, come back. Say that, that. Oh, okay. Right, I think I know what's going on here. Alright, much appreciated. A couple, just a couple of who didn't like the incident got and decided they were gonna say some empty threats. It yeah, sounds like. No shots were fired, and uh, yeah, no I didn't hear any threats were made, so. Oh. Yeah, it sounds about right. Alright, well, I do appreciate that. Um, We're gonna go check that out. So, what were they wearing again? Give it a. Uh, two outfits? I think it was all. All black. I wanted the black hoodie. Black hoodie. Okay, got it. We'll go yeah, look for them and question them for that for 
I'm gonna follow this report. Okay, well, thank you for your guys' time. Much appreciated. Have well, a great evening. We're gonna probably see if y'all decide to stop by here again. Uh, go ahead and talk to one of us. We can get y'all some drinks. Appreciate it. Will do. I'm a cadet, I need a ride. Okay. On my way. You, uh, 10-9. I think you need to, uh, ride along, uh, what I think, uh, the going there for him right now. Yeah, I can pick up. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up. Uh, the two suspects we're looking for at the moment. One's in a, has like a man bun, brown hair, um, I think dark colored eyes, uh, and also a black and a track suit. The other one I believe we were told was wearing a black hoodie. I'm, a, I'm just gonna just patrol all the way down with 68. Land on Route 68 right now. There's like so much 64 around here, not far behind him or not. The vehicle that they had, or that they, the dude that we stopped over, was he in like a, a black, like, black little SUV kind of? I actually didn't catch their vehicle. Broken. I see a little SUV. Looks Sixty-eight right now. I don't see. You guys say that the person we're looking for is in a black SUV. Uh, yeah, they're down here on Route Sixty, all the way down at uh, the suburban store, like where the dollar bill store is. Um, go all the way down Route Sixty-eight. And then, I think this is them because if I see the vehicle, I don't see them. They could be like hiding around the building or inside the clothing store. We're pulling up right now. Yeah, you see that black SUV? The like broken windows in it? I've got another person in a black SUV currently that I'm following. Hey, I've got 
There's three of us down here. Info responding code three. Definitely one of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, uh, we just want to talk to you and your friend here. Um, so we I'm gonna be here riding on the team. I'm gonna have to find out about the situation. Okay, well, we're working out for that y'all uh, were threatened or something. I kind of forget that y'all So, yeah, no, we got we went and talked to them, and it turns out um, it was a false report, nobody had guns out. Um, you guys just went over there. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys pretty much just told them that they were. You guys were pretty much kind of threatening them. You were gonna come back later on and. Oh, like that. Uh, well, see, boy, talk to the group of people. Yeah. Oh, wow. He was. We was only chilling, and then, like, did they show any evidence? It was like I was scared. Like, I don't. I don't know what else to we say. We specialize in mean, this. I mean, wow. They had the gun. They had the gun up to us. Well, we didn't see any guns, and we were going off the word of, like, seven people. I mean, it looks like y'all been hiding, because we haven't seen y'all down there in downtown, like, the whole time. Uh, since... I think I was looking at our clothes at the bench, Yeah, we've been changing our look. We're in the clothes shop, I've got my hoodie on, I've, I'm changing. So, quick question, if we asked to like bring you guys one. down there right now and speak to them, would that be an issue? Yeah, but no, I think I think it is an issue. Threat, so I don't really want to talk to Fred. You know, yeah, I understand that, but you would have four officers backing you. And I don't think they would risk their life of like people that could be wrong, could be right. I mean, if we just right. there. And Look. Like, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not trying to say that like, what people wear is suspicious, but a whole people that like, green cars, green. Green every day, that's a bit scary, don't you think, officer? Oh, there it is. I mean, y'all burn burning the blue, that's kind of scary in the cell. Oh, yeah. Well, we just got changed out. You oh, saw who was wearing last yeah. time. Apologize for that. Yeah, so what we're going to do here is, you guys just, let's not have you guys interact with them. Um, keep your distance. If we see any issues, if you guys see any issues, report it, and, uh, yeah, so. All right. Thank you very much for this, officers. Thank you, and sorry for wasting your time of the day. Okay. Thank you very much, officers. Yeah, guys, have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Got a car parked on the side of the road, Route 68. Um, oh. I'm getting a new uh, tweet at the moment. Uh, So, sir, can I help you? You get out? Get out here? Yeah, yeah, uh, um, my engine just broke down. Sorry, Engine broke down, eh? Yeah. Oh, you can ask me. Uh, you wanna pop the hood for me? I might be able to take a look. Yeah, I got you. Okay. I'm back. Uh, that, actually, that's your trunk. Sorry, I forget. It's in the, it's in the bag, isn't it? My trunk, my trunk doesn't open. Uh, okay, well, here, um... Hey, one some. Sec, here, I might have some stuff in the back, actually. Yeah, the only thing is, I'm this close to the mechanic as well. I have something in the back here. Well, I can turn it. The the, uh... I'm guessing where the green game is, I'm not sure, but I see an explosion. You might need your Okay, so let's see. Okay, no, it's not electric, but luckily, we just use a spark plug, so I'm just gonna change that out for you. While well, your battery's not starting. Right. I'm 
Okay, there we go. Okay, try it now. If it'll start. Here we go. Look at that. Give me a spark plug. Why, thank you, officer. No problem. Alright, here we go. Alright, you might want to take it to the mechanic and get it, like, be, like, double checked for any other issues. Yeah, that, yeah that's how I'm just gonna. Alright. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. You have a good one. Uh, or something? Uh, we resolved it. Uh, he just needed a spark plug replacement. Luckily, I had one in the back of my SUV. All good now. There's more. 